Welcome back to Gallery Watch, where we are at Barati Fine Art in North Fremantle, looking at the exhibition called The Figure. I'm here with David Spencer to talk about his work at the exhibition. Thank you very much for joining us. Sure. So, sorry, how long have you been an artist for? I, saw, I first showed at the Hudson Gallery in the city in 2004. It was my first solo, so I consider that the sort of start of my career. Prior to that, I was just painting casually and selling um, randomly uh, until I actually pulled focus and got a collection of work together and then basically sold out, which is frighteningly exciting. This was, uh, well obviously is a triptych based on uh, what it's called, enjoy it while it lasts. So I'm a recent father, nine weeks, little Oscar, he's doing, thank you very much, he's awesome. Uh, so this was more of the opposite reflection of fatherhood in the sense that my life has now stopped and his begins. Sort of change, complete change of lifestyle. So this was like the way it was. And I don't know, as an adult moving into my 40s, everyone has that sense of nostalgia about their youth, particularly when you're having a baby or had a baby. So this was sort of representative of that. So this was like a typical day for me, getting up in the morning, going to the beach, a couple of beers in the afternoon at Norfolk or the pub, and then just go out without hesitation, without thought. Someone invite me? Yeah, I'll go if I was allowed, um, but yeah, so that was the sort of freedom I suppose I was enjoying and now it's disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty tempted to keep developing it. Yeah. Because I like how plain it is and it says its story pretty much immediately and there's no, because I'm, I'm an abstract artist. So this was a real challenge in the sense of doing self-portraiture, which I always find difficult. I can't draw eyes for the life of me, so... And who better to, you know, pit, uh, paint, obviously, than yourself, because you, no one's going to be angry at you for a shit version. I've been painting basically since primary school, uh, did special art uh, during high school and then went on to do fine arts and then sort of just went travelling after that in, for about 10 years and then got my thumb out of my ass and knuckled down since about 2004 and then committed pretty much to it as a career, which is slowly happening, it's a long process and it's one that defines me as an artist. I get inspiration from just walking around the streets. I collect little knickknacks, things that discard like zippers or lighters or buttons and stuff. I collect all that. So, and that I put into my paintings at a later date. Even that can inspire me. The original works in Europe and uh, America and stuff, it's just incredible. It really is incredible. Um, and then coming back and putting all those influences into your art, somehow making it your own is, is, what, uh, is a challenge in itself, but it's what defines you as an artist. After this, I've got a group show in Sydney, 
which is uh, an introduction to the East Coast buyers of West, selected West Australian artists under Berati. And then uh, next year working towards my ninth solo, and then which I've already got the title for, but I'm not going to tell you. Uh, so that'll be more influenced from Oscar, so all my work's sort of actually getting simpler, which is it's good, so it's more selective with colour. And then, uh, I don't know, really just have to wait. I bet you're looking forward to uh, when he can actually start drawing. Mm. Absolutely I am. I'll just frame it and call it my own. People won't know the difference. <laughs> It's about um, love, it's about dancing, it's about the tango. I'm a tango tragic. I love the tango, I'm into the Argentinian tango and, and the whole, I don't know if anyone knows about the tango or how it works, but it's a dance of love. And in this I'm trying to express the, the male and the female together in a dancing situation. But with the tango, it's a... Uh, it's a reach and withdrawal because you I'm kind of want to dance with you I'm kind of trying to do it but it's a it's a reach the the male and the female come together the man leads the woman follows but it's a reach and withdrawal they want to be together the whole time that you are moving in the tanso, the tango if it's done correctly you're making love and then you move away from that and you dance with someone else it's really incredible the way you can do it This one here is, I did a whole lot of drawings and I wanted to see if I could explore the idea of using colour and uh, paint with the, with the drawing. It was just really an experiment. I wanted to see if I could pull it off. It's basically what I did and I'm happy with it. And I work on the idea, you strip it down. You work out what the message is and then you rip out anything that's not connected to the message. So instead of painting a man and a woman, I've stripped it down to what the message is, their communication between each other, the fact that like when you're in love with another person or you're married and that, you want to be with them, you don't want to be with them, you don't know if you want to be with them, you, you want to adore them but then on the other hand you don't want to be trapped. I try and get that into the work. thing is the portraiture or understanding people and my art is my total obsession of my entire life and the work I'm doing now is so amazing and so incredible and it's uh, now predicated I am not interested I don't care whether they sell I don't care whether anyone ever looks at them but I just work day and night and I just that's where it's taken me It's allowed me to arrive at a world in which I'm creating something and totally at ease and comforted and excited about every single day because of it. You've got some masters here. I mean, if you've looked around, you'll see like you've got here a Picasso, you know, and you've got you know, Fred over there and you've got Suzanne over there. I mean, Robert's really complimenting us by putting us next to these people. It's incredible, but, you know, Picasso was the great master, absolutely the great master. This is by Salvador Dali. It's uh, called Medusa. It was created in 1963 and it was part of a long, a, a wider series of uh, based on mythology, so he was he was tackling quite a few different different themes of mythology. And what people often forget about Dali is that he was a, a fantastic draftsman. He was a wonderful uh, composer of images. He knew how to lay out perspective and you know he could paint photographically if you wanted to and um, the challenge for a surrealist is really unlocking that part of the brain that truly governs creativity.
Well, that's all we have for today's episode. I'm Nadia Hunter. See you next week on Gallery Watch.